What is up? What is up, guys? NYKia31 here. What is up, guys? NYKia31 here. Madden 19. Um, this is my second coverage video going over um, some match coverage rules and logic is kind of going to build off of the first video I did. If you haven't watched that, I include the link um, to that video below. So I'm kind of going to build off of what I discussed there when I uh, discussed uh, cover four quarters match rules and cover four um, palms. And what I'm going to do in this one here is I'm going to talk about differences between cover six and the cover six invert. What is cover six? Cover six is a too high safety look. You see you have on the weak side of the formation, I'm in a um, trips tight end offset formation here. On the weak side of the formation, you have your cover two technique being played. You have your cloud flat and your safety in a deep half and your backer on that side in a vertical hook. Sometimes that'll be a safety depending on what package you're in. I'm just seeing a normal uh, nickel set here. And on the strong side of the formation, the trips side, you have your match quarters technique being played by your DBs there along with the receiver hook. Now, just to kind of recap, this is not going to be um, spot drop cover four style being played. It's going to be uh, man matching principles being played out of zone. Again, review the match quarters and the, the um, cover four palms video I did. One thing I did observe here while I was repping these is that what I do notice is that sometimes they're playing uh, match quarters over there on that side. Sometimes the corner and the safeties are playing palms, which is a little bit weird. It should be straight match quarters just to keep things consistent and simple. But sometimes they're playing palms, and I'm not sure why that's happening. It's like what I mentioned in the uh, comment section of that video it's like sometimes they are stuck between both styles which creates some problems we'll get into that a little bit but anyhow what will happen here and also oh let me go over what's going on in the run fits here in this two deep look again it's half cover four half cover two so you'll have your cloud flat corner being a force defender against the run and your um, quarter safety being a run fit defender as well to support your linebackers as opposed to quarters which is too deep and your two safeties are both primary run defenders so let's show this in motion against what shall we pick? Let's pick something that gives it a little bit of a problem. Multiple crossers tend to do that. We'll go with, let's go, let's say with Trey Y Flex, and we'll go play Ash and Crossers. So again, cover two to the weak side, match quarters to the strong side. your cloud flat here bracketing the um, corner route here along with a vertical hook gaining um, width and depth to kind of obstruct that deep half safety and on this side here you have multiple crossers trying to isolate defenders deep and force linebackers and safeties to run with the guys who are fast across the field. That's how you break down match quarters. That's one of the ways you break down match quarters. Here you have you know, pretty straightforward, simple vertical release and you know, convert to man-to-man. -to -man. Here you have the quarter flat here. 
with the receiver off the line. He does not get a collision and no reroute. He, th he still at least sinks back to kind of, you know, shrink that hole, but you see here that's going to cause the um, safety here, because there's no reroute in the situation, to be threatened pretty quick. Remember how I said in the uh, Cover 4 video, a safety's worst nightmare in this scenario is to have this guy running at him with a head of steam? Because now he has all kinds of options now that he's threatened him vertical. He can, you know, break out, break out, break in, break out, keep going, do a stutter go, all kinds of possibilities, which safeties generally are not equipped to handle as well as corners. If you don't have athletic safeties that can run and um, change directions, flip those hips and go, you cannot play this style of defense. It's going to get roasted. But here he matches vertical and takes him man-to-man -man across the field. That's a good job. I'm on the number three hook. And I haul tail to match Robbie Anderson. Darren Lee is very fast. Actually, that's Avery. Yeah, that's Darren Lee. And that's Robbie Anderson, who ain't slow either. One thing I noticed about the three receiver hook is that when the QB starts to scramble and the play breaks down, or if the play takes a really long time to get going, sometimes this three receiver hook will drop down prematurely. Sometimes I've seen him sometimes carry here and then drop down. Here's a vertical hook, and you know, you can use her. Either guy you want. I, I prefer to use a three receiver hook against this type of formation. But let's say someone hot rotted this guy to go vertical, you'd have to he'd have to book with him. And he's got the safety here back here. Or if they drag this guy and run all these guys across, the quarter flat will pick him up late when he reaches around, I would say, here or so. If this was cover nine, cover nine is the same thing. The only difference is that cover nine, the um, sides flip-flop. The cover two side would be on the trip side, and the quarters side would be on the weak side. Let's pick another play. Let's go same formation. Let's go dagger. We'll control the vertical hook this time. This is actually a good route concept to attack this high of coverage with. Cloud flats there to close on here. Now pay attention to the three receiver hook. He's going to open up to the um, receiving strength. He's going to start the bracket here. See how he falls off to cover, to come down on the... Um, crosser once he carries him about halfway through. That's where your vertical hook has to be there to have his back when that happens. Quarter flat here gets a redirection and a bracket here. And here is where I was talking about sometimes these two these two DBs here, the corner and the safety, they play match quarter. Sometimes they play palms. This time they play palms. You see here, the corner drops off and takes the first man coming out and the safety.
Whoops, what am I doing? We cover two sides pretty straightforward here. You know, cloud flat. He's there to close down on this. This receiver is dragging across the field. I'm playing vertical hook. The three receiver hook opens up here. He starts to pass him off, and then goes back. But the vertical hook here that I'm using is there. Quarter flat. And he'd close down. Once our receiver reaches that point or so. The corner and the safety. Corner is for all intents and purposes playing man to man. The safety. Picks up the guy running outside. And again, this is a tough route concept to cover from an off coverage position, especially when, you know, he has to take a little peek here. And that causes the separation, and the square in gets in between him and the linebacker. That's another way you want to attack this as well. You run a crosser. And a comeback behind it. Or you can run a Mills concept or a pin concept, a post in. That's how you stretch this defense deep. What you can do if you're playing a four down line version of this, put a dropper in the hole in the form of a spy from your defensive line to obstruct that drag. That'll delay that somewhat and give you more time. Like for example, let's spy. That'll obstruct that drag to prevent someone from just hitting that quick. Because you see here, the quarter flat's going to pick him up once he clears. You can press out of this. Robbie Anderson is doing Robbie Anderson things. Robbie Anderson is low-key very good. Low-key good in this game. Not spectacular, but he's certainly good enough to do that to a guy like Marcus May. So you can press up here, and you got crypt, and you got press quarters now on this side. You can press at a zone now and get an actual um, press, which reroutes the receiver to the sideline. That was Anunua. Welcome back, Anunua. I thought I was probably answering for a second. That's just a good, you know, one-on-one -on -one play. We see here that route recognition was solid. Everyone was where they were supposed to be. Everyone matched. You just try to constrict airspace. And sometimes the guy's going to make a play. You know? 
receivers are allowed to make contested catches every now and then. You guys got to get over that. One on one, you know, a guy's going to win, a guy's going to lose. And if the guy has a better catch in traffic and spec catch uh, going on than the guy covering him has coverage ratings going on, he'll win some. You just want to make sure that you just, you're, you're just trying to, you know, contest the routes as best you can to, you know, force contested throw. That's all you can really ask for. We'll go flood swap. I overran that. You see the safety is there to knock it out from the deep half. Again, good route combo. You know, I'm showing you the rules, but also showing you how to beat it at the same time. This, this is a good route combo. Free receiver hook. He breaks out. He does not have to match him anymore, so he goes back looking inside. The quarter flat is trying to obstruct this release here before he sinks back. And again... You got two guys breaking outside at multiple depths. This is too far. Underneath the um, quarters covered safety for him to close on it on time. That's how you attack match quarters against with, with flood concepts. No different than if you're attacking a spot drop zone. And same thing here, just straight vertical release, and you take him. Alrighty, now let's go over cover six invert. What is cover six invert? Cover six invert, I mentioned this in a tweet earlier, that it's a, it's a lot like TCU's two-read concept. This is it in several formations in the game. I'm using the nickel normal version. You'll see that... Go to the same formation. You'll be seeing this formation a lot online to start out the year. But you'll see here a couple differences. Again, quarters rules are going to be on the strong side, but on the weak side... What you have here is that you have your safety and your corner swapping. The safety comes down to cut the curl flat area, and the corner now has that deep half. Now, another thing that you'll notice is that both of the uh, two high safeties are also now primary run defenders. You see the F and you see the C, that's force and that's um, cutback, and you see they both have run fit responsibilities. So this gives you another too high safety look outside of quarters that involves your safeties as primary run fit defenders to support your backers and also give you a too high look to help disguise your cover fours. And what's going to happen here is let's snap the ball or get the ball snapped. as I lift the receiver across me. Still getting used to player user movement in this game and what I can do when I, when I have to get out of that strafe and just go. It's different. It really is. You won't know it until you actually feel it. But it is a lot different as far as user control goes. But you see here, this... Safety now is going to play high to low. He's got all of that when he cuts outside. He's playing deep half. The receiver hook is matching. I'm here as well, but I just, you know, am too heavy on the uh, fingers and don't get into my sprint in, in time. This year, user control, if you're late getting into your sprint, you will not make up the ground. You won't do it.
Same stuff here as we saw in the cover six graph. Something changes there. Let's go, what haven't we done? We did that. Let's go with, let's go levels Y corner. A lot of traffic there, wow. I mean, a quick hitter to the flat will get some yards. Again, he's playing high to low. So he'll break on this once the ball is being thrown. You'll take this all day long. You're not going to get beat allowing five yards of completion. You know, if you're forcing your opponent to throw there, have a guy coming down there that can make the tackle and limit that yardage. He's got deep half. Ball's already out. Guys pass underneath. The quarter flat is actually still really active. When there's no one coming in outside, he'll cheat in. Sometimes I cheat in too far, which I don't like. I do like that the fact that they'll, you know, stay active if no one's coming outside. But sometimes these guys will follow them all the way across the field, which is not ideal because. <laughs> If something does break out from somebody, like say a back wheeling out of the backfield, it's going to be a major problem. So there's some bad to go along with the fact that they're, you know, active. They tend to be overactive from time, from time to time. And let's find something that will stress that. Cloud flat a little bit. Oh, come on, where are you? Let's change formation a little bit. Uh, let's go. Let's go trips. We'll go Salem. Again, this is a solid route combo to attack this. What you're trying to do with this is run this safety out of here and sneak this guy in underneath between the corner and one of the backers. Again, high-low with this safety here. He's a curl to flat, he's not a hard flat defender, or a cloud to flat, so he's going to start out deep and cut low. Deep half. Here's your quarter flat. Matches the outside. You can probably hit a quick hitter here, depending on how good that quarter flat defender is. It's Buster Screen, who's terrible, so he'd probably give that up. Vertical, man-to-man. -man. Find vertical, man-to-man. -man. Okay. 
big nickel over G. Let's go over four lock palms. Four lock palms. I I don't love this play for a couple of reasons. One, I couldn't figure out what the hell this is supposed to be. <laughs> for one. Two, it's not really... Well, I'm being a bit anal here, but a lock call is usually done to man up the Solus High Receiver in trips, and you play zone around everybody else, or teams will do a lock call against the first receiver on the trip side. Saban does that a lot. He'll have um, lock on the number one receiver, in this case, Jermaine Curse, on the trip side. Reason being is that in his you know, view, teams rarely throw to that guy vertical. So just have that guy be manned up and you know, play his own everywhere else. I mean... The logic in that is sound. I don't question saves. I mean, <laughs> he's he is the godfather of these match concepts. He invented them, him and Belichick. So, hey, whatever you say goes, buddy. So you have man coverage being played on the weak side with the uh, curl flat defender to the weak side as well with one of the backers and a three receiver hook. Only reason why I don't like this is that it can cause you to have a ton, a ton of ground to cover with this three receiver hook backer. But here you're going to see it's going to be man coverage with um, match quarters being played everywhere else. press out of it here. Just to show you that as well. He just quickly hits the drag there. Ball's already out. You see here he got beat off the press, which is, you know, a risk of press coverage. He's off the line of scrimmage, so you're not going to get a jam here. Let's see if we can get that to develop a little bit more. We're going to press. You don't have to press. I'm just showing you that you can if you're so inclined. Yeah, he's just going to check that down every time unless I put a spy in there to make him hold it. So let's do that. Let's put a guy in a spy. Damn CPU quarterback. Ooh. Don't get knocked out because you have to curl flat there. He's just going to check that down. Let's put a spy in there to make him hold it a little bit longer. We'll press out of it here. Again, I'm just showing you to do this. I'm just showing you that you can do this because... CPU is going to check that down every time, so I'm just going to throw a spy in there to make him hold the ball a little bit longer. Damn CPU quarterback. And 
I see what happens here again when that number two can break to the corner it's tough for the safety to handle Uh, let's run this against, I don't know, let's run this against doubles, I guess. Let's find something interesting to run it against. Um, let's try play action read. You can play it off coverage if you want. Just leave it be. That's what happens when you get bombed over the top. You don't have to stay there that can cover that. Gotta have a safety that can turn and run. Gotta have it. Otherwise, this will not work. There he was able to stick with him. Play action is a quarters coverage stressor because again those say that's those quarter safety is their run defenders so if they get caught picking in the backfield that causes a world of hurt as well comebacks and intermediate out routes underneath the uh quarters coverage safety safety corner is a good way to attack this also Man coverage. Man coverage. You can press out of it if you wish, or if you so desire. Last two reps, he was able to stick with him better. And I haul tail back there as well. You just got to be alert with your user defenders. You know, find out where and who may need help. You know, Robbie Anderson's not slow. So, you know, that's a good job by him. You know, he got roasted that one time, but the other two times he stuck with him. You know, that's not bad coverage there. Jermaine Curse is just better. I mean, this is the Jets here, remember? I mean, my personnel ain't the greatest. So there you go. That is how it works. So what I'll do after this, the next part on this, I'll go over cover two, then I will go over the um, cover three match concepts as well. So anywho, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you all later. Peace.